Hey everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we are continuing our video on how to upgrade your mid-2012 MacBook Pro. This is part two of the video. We've already covered part of the upgrade process in part one. If you'd like to see that video, we'll po post a link to it in the video description down below. Now, uh, just to cover what we've done so far with our MacBook Pro upgrade as well as what we're going to be doing in this video in part two, uh, let me walk you through that. Essentially, what we have done we first started by removing our MacBook Pro's optical drive, the slim optical drive that's right here. We replaced it with our Silverstone TS08 Caddy, which basically uh, allows you to install a 2.5 inch drive where your optical drive was. We installed our Samsung uh, 840 Pro SSD into that Caddy, and that allowed us to take the existing operating system that was already installed on the Mac and create an image of it and copy that image over onto our newly installed SSD. That's pretty much where we left off in that one. So right now we have two drives in here, an SSD and the original mechanical drive. In this video, we're actually going to be reinstalling the optical drive, and that will actually allow us to install Windows 7 so we can set up this uh, device for uh, use with Boot Camp to be able to dual boot into either the Windows operating system or Mac OS X. I will mention at this point that you can skip the reinstallation of the optical drive if you, for example, have an external optical drive that you can just plug in via USB, or if you already have your copy of Windows and we're using Windows 7 Ultimate, you can use Windows 7 Home or uh, any, of the, any of the other versions. Windows 8 also works just as, as well. Uh, but you can use uh, tutorials that exist elsewhere on the internet to create a uh, actual USB key installer for your Windows 7 drive. That will also allow you to bypass the reinstallation part with the optical drive. But for our purposes, we're going about this assuming you don't have another computer available to you. So we'll be showing you how to do that. Finally, since we're gonna have the system all opened up and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a memory upgrade. We'll be installing this Kingston dual channel memory kit. So let's jump right back in and start disassembling our MacBook Pro one more time. If you remember how we uh, assembled this in part one, well, we're just going to be removing some of the screws. These are the parts that we only partially reinstalled. So remove the back plates, and next we're going to uninstall the caddy and unmount the SSD. Simply do the same process in reverse that we did in part one. Remove the screws as well as the cables that might be in the way and pop that caddy out. And next remove the metal bracket that was attached to the optical drive and attach it to the caddy. Note that there are two longer screws that come with the Silverstone caddy that you'll need to attach that metal bracket. We're going to be swapping our new SSD into, this, into the place where the mechanical drive currently resides. So you'll see two Phillips head screws, simply remove those from the mechanical hard drive and remove the plastic retention bracket. Next up, lift the plastic tab, remove the hard drive and disconnect its serial ITA ribbon cable. Note that the MacBook's hard drive has four small metal screws. They're kind of like plugs. You'll want to remove all four of those and then reinstall them on your SSD. Next, we're going to simply install the SSD into that same position, so pretty much the same process in reverse. Connect the serial ATA ribbon cable, set the SSD drive in the bay, remount and reinstall the plastic bracket and the screws. Next, we will reinstall the optical drive. Use the same method that we used to install the caddy in part one. Install the optical drive back in its place, secure it with the screws, and replace the cables above it. Finally, while we've got the back plate for the laptop open, we'll go ahead and replace the system memory. This is actually a fairly simple process. Just pull the plastic latches away from each side of the SO DIMM on the memory that's already installed. You'll see the memory pop up. You can simply pull it out once it's popped up like that. Next up, uh, repeat that same method for the second dim that's right below it, and then we're going to insert our new dims, uh, install them at the same angle that you saw the original dims pop up to, push them down until they bottom out, and then push down on the top of the dim until it pops securely into place and the latches snap on top of it, and do so with both dims. Now that our hardware is configured, we can move on to setting up dual boot. So go ahead and boot up your Mac, and it should be booting off of the SSD now. We're going to the Go menu, then Utilities, and then Boot Camp Assistant. Once you have accessed Boot Camp Assistant, you will want to uncheck the first box and then check the next two. Next, you'll be prompted to insert either a blank CD or an external drive to save the Apple Boot Camp driver to. After the Windows support files have been saved to your external storage, you will next set your desired operating system partitions. Next, we're going to insert our Windows installation disk into our optical drive and click Start Installation. 
When prompted, go ahead and select the Boot Camp Windows Partition. Once Windows installation is complete, you will need to install the Apple Boot Camp drivers. This will also install a Boot Camp control panel in Windows in the system tray. This will let you change settings like which startup disk you want to use. So you can indicate here, I want to always boot to Windows, for example, or I always want to boot to the Mac operating system. It's also available in the Mac operating system under startup disk preferences. And of course, once you have set this, you always have the option to hold down the option key while you're starting up your laptop and that will give you a list to choose from. Now our software is all configured but we have one last step on the hardware side and this is actually optional. Some folks are really only interested in the SSD upgrade and if that's all you want and you want to keep your optical drive, we'll go ahead and leave that in there just make sure everything is mounted and secured permanently. However, you do have the option to remove that optical drive one more time, go for an SSD plus hard drive option and that will give you a much greater amount of storage space, you simply will lose the option to have that optical drive. To do that, simply follow these steps. Go ahead and remove the optical drive in the same method that we've shown you in the uh, previously in the video. Install the hard drive in the Silverstone Caddy. Install the Caddy into your MacBook Pro. And finally, we recommend booting into Windows and then formatting that hard drive to NTFS. This will make sure you can access the drive either from Windows 7 or from the Mac operating system. And that is gonna wrap it up for this tutorial video, guys. And if you have been following along at home, your MacBook Pro should now be upgraded with a fancy new SSD, as well as the capability to dual boot into either OS X or Windows. We definitely like to hear your feedback on this video since this is our first Mac-centric tutorial. We would like to know if you enjoyed it or if you did not. Either way, go ahead and leave us a comment down in the comments section below. But thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you'd like to see more, you can find them on our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all in the the next video.